Hey what's up David here with After Video Effects and welcome back to another video tutorial. And in this video I want to do something a little different. So instead of making a visual effects shot or an animation, I decided just to make a visual effects still image. Just still using the visual effects assets but just just for a still image only. So uh, yeah we're gonna be making this car scene. Um everybody likes cars, so we got um, background buildings, we got textures, we got lighting and yeah so we're, we're all going to be covering that in this video tutorial. So let's make a new comp and we'll make a car scene and it doesn't have to be too long because it's only a still image so we hit OK and be sure to set your color bits per channel to 16 bits so if you don't know how to change that you can just hit alt and then just click okay so we're gonna make a new solid and we'll call it E3D hit OK get the uh, element 3D layer and we're going to scene setup okay so here we are in element 3D now I'm gonna open up my car model I downloaded this from Turbo Squid and uh, it comes as a blank model so you, you do have to assign each material to it um, but then yeah, once you finish that you can just save the model preset so that you don't have to go through that process again but uh, okay so now that I got my model I'm gonna make a plane and I'll make it 5x5x5x5 five by five by five by five. So it's a nice large plane. Let's go into the material settings. And we can just um, add our materials by just dragging and dropping it on. So like that, and that's it. We can change the environment to um, basic 2K15. And then with the glossiness, what's interesting is that I can brighten it up and it's starting to change the way that lighting is um, onto this floor. So if I just bring the normal map down. So let's check this out. Just brighten it up and we can really start to see how it's affecting the surface of our scene. So maybe like that. It doesn't even have to be a hundred percent. It can be like like ninety, but we really wanted to um, just have blurred and unblurred scenes. So somewhere around there, just some the UV repeat. So maybe we can make it like 2.5 by 2.5. That way we're getting some nice um, detail. Okay, so once we've done that, we can hit OK. And we can make a new camera. And we'll make it 50 millimeters, hit OK. And we can just rotate this, zoom in. OK. So, oh, uh, I forgot to mention, be sure to, um, set your uh, reflective mode to mirror surface so that way the car is reflected okay there we go and okay so let's add in our background scene so with these back buildings these are all in the video copilots uh, stock footage by the way which you can download um, okay so let's rotate this
and let's push it back in C space and let's just uh, move it across here I actually flipped it so that I want this side building to appear on this side so if we could just move it across here like that and I want these buildings to appear as well and we just rotate it just a little bit so like that okay and we could zoom in maybe even push it further back in Z space and slide across here like that okay cool that's looking nice now let's add some lighting so control alt shift L and we'll make a parallel hit OK And we gotta turn off except lights for our background and so that will only affect our car scene so let's bring this light if we hit P let's bring it up and let's hit T and just maybe make a lid Let's just move it across here. Like that. Maybe we could duplicate it and we can move our second one uh, down low here so that it lets this side, but we don't want it be too lit so maybe about there something like that and we could just do one more and we can just drop the intensity and we can bring it closer to our car Okay, we can make a group null. And we'll call this position. And we'll just put it underneath here. Let's go into the render settings and let's turn on shadows. Let's turn on ambient occlusion and we'll set this to ray trace. So that it looks realistic. Let's go into the output. Let's turn on shadows and let's adjust the reflectivity on this maybe some specular and some diffuse maybe drop that to 1.2 okay cool okay so let's add in adjustment layer so control y control y and this one will be CC and this one will be vignette alright so let's just get our tints um, let's get our curves let's get a 
glow and let's use this is optional but I used it uh, magic look all right so I'm just gonna put the curves before okay so let's start with our tint and drop it about 20% and our glow drop that about 1.1 1 .1. and let's adjust the threshold here and let's spread that out okay let's use my magic looks and I think I use classic tension and we'll use that and we'll just add a little contrast on top Take away some red, add some blue to it. Um, okay, we can add a vignette. And just double click the mask tool. Subtract that, hit F, feather that out. Okay, let's just adjust this depth of field here with my magic looks. Okay, so. Like that, okay. That's better. Um, okay, so what else can we do with this? All right, okay. Um, one final trick I did was I created a solid and I made a pale blue like this and put it underneath the uh, color collection and then what I did was I drew a mask around this so that it look like the headlights are on. I know there's a glow function in Element 3D but it doesn't work for this model pack so that's unfortunate. And then I can set the transfer mode to add and then I can feather this out. Maybe drop the opacity a bit so that it looks like the headlights are on. So if you can't see the difference, that's it. Okay. Okay, so in case you're just wondering how I did these backlights, I just used Video Copilot Saber and then I just used the mask tool just to draw. Uh, some mask around it just to look like it's all glowy and stuff but other than that guys uh yeah he created this um uh amazing uh scene well, i shouldn't say amazing because it's actually my work but anyway my name's david i hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations please give a like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video.